Ooh, I think I just had a nightmare. That was absolutely terrible. I've never seen so many geese in my life. stuff done as you saw I hand washed some of my hand washables I've been procrastinating with that a little bit because I just didn't feel like doing it but I finally got it done because Greg and I are going to be leaving town on Saturday and I need to have everything ready to go so I hand washed them and then threw them in the washing machine for um, a rinse and spin and now I have them laying out here to dry because they will shrink if I don't follow the instructions. So now, I'm dressed, I got ready obviously, and I'm gonna go, and I'm so excited, cause I'm gonna go meet up with Allie. She is in town from Tennessee, and I haven't seen her, it feels like, in forever. So I'm gonna go and hang out with her a little bit. I wanna have an opportunity to hang out with her because today's really the only day I'm gonna be able to. Tomorrow I have to work and then like I said, I have to leave work early because we have a Christmas service tomorrow. And then Saturday, wait no, Friday, Christmas services and family dinner. And then Saturday, Greg and I are going to, we're gonna drive down to my job and I'm gonna do one of my client's hair. Um, she comes all the way from Ohio to get her hair done and while she's visiting her family. And um, I had to move her because next week I have to take off. So I felt really bad to cancel her appointment. She comes so far and I usually cut and I usually color and cut her hair and then I cut her little precious baby boy Jack's hair. And I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna go in for them and then Greg is going to meet Peaches. So I'm really excited about that and I just found out today that Andrea is gonna be in town. Her and Hebram, my best friend. I'm so freaking excited to see her. I can't even tell you. Like, I miss her so much. So I'm so excited to see her. So hopefully, we'll just get to spend a couple hours or so with them. Greg and I both have the time off. We get to spend a lot of quality time together. I think it's gonna be really good. So I have to get going because I'm gonna be late. Hey loves, look who's here. Gosh, I don't have you guys have you have they met you really? Um, I don't I'm know. Probably. Think of, I don't know if you guys have like officially met her one on one. If that makes any sense. But this is Allie. She's one of my favorites. She's like my little sister, and we got a chance to hang out. She lives in Nashville now, so she's not around anymore. But it was it was so nice to be able to like hang out with her, and I wanted to introduce you guys to her. Okay. <laughs> she's been in a lot of vlogs, but on my channel, I think. Yeah, I'm I'm Eli's sister and Jesse. Yes. I'm in town. I love being home. I haven't been home in like months. So you know, when you haven't been home in months and then you come home, you're like ready for it. Yeah. I'm just I'm living the 20s struggle in Nashville. You know, you know how that works. I'm trying to figure out a career and stuff. So it's just good to get away, not worry about working, and just be with family and people who I love and love me. So it's great. And we just got food. It was really so good. delicious. Because you know how much I love food. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's, food is it's, so comforting. It is so comforting. Like it's but sad. we didn't eat bad. Like we, no, we didn't. Yeah, it wasn't no. bad. But it was delicious. Yeah. It was super and good. The conversation was great. And I just miss her. I love how this believe thing right here is just so classic to you, you know? I like it though. Like it. Yeah. But anyway. She's gonna be leaving, when do you leave? The 26th, no the 27th. But Jesse and I are both leaving early in the morning. She's gonna spend a night with me in Nashville and then she's going to Arkansas to hang out with her friends for New Year's. I don't know what I'm doing for New Year's yet, but I hope it's fun. New Year's is actually the only holiday that I enjoy. Only because, not because of like the hoopla and like I don't party or whatever, but like it's like a fresh start. I'm trying to kiss somebody. <laughs> Whatever. 
<laughs> I low key kind of want to. Really? I don't know why. Because I've never <laughs> done it. Like, you know, it's like one of those things where you're like, okay, I definitely don't want to kiss just anybody. No, but like, yeah. I want a good story. And I also want, like, to so do it just because to say I have, because I've never done it. <laughs> I'm, it's not gonna happen. I'm not like that. It's not gonna happen. I wanna, I wanna do something fun for, you know, it's like my first holiday. Well, that's not true. I spent Thanksgiving in Nashville, but it's like my first like New Year's. Yeah, New Year's new is like start. overrated, New Year's. but it's I don't know. It's New Year's, man. Like every year, like is a fresh start for me. So it's a big deal. Why can't a fresh start be like tomorrow? <laughs> why can't you just decide to like, start fresh? A tomorrow? fresh start tomorrow is like a fresh start with something small, but like mm -hmm. New Year's is like a whole new chapter. Yeah, I feel like every year is has like a specific purpose. Yeah. So like I'm finishing out the purpose for 2016 and then 2017 is gonna come a new purpose. Yeah. I don't but it know, doesn't always weird. work out that way. That's why it's so funny. far it has because been. you all <laughs> really yeah. Well, not for everybody, not for me. Because why can't I just be like, oh, my new year is when I turn twenty three. You know, it's a new year for me. It's literally actually more True. accurate. A <laughs> more like I've tried to do that and it just doesn't work for me. Yeah. Well, it's probably because everyone. It's just like a thing that everyone has a new start in the new year. It's cultural. We all like make goals that we can't keep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's just like classic. Uh -huh. Like instead of being like, what's your new New Year's resolution? We should say, what's your goal that isn't going to happen? I have a <laughs> That's goal negative. for 2017 that I, is, it's attainable. But it's not like, I'm going to lose 20 pounds this year. It's, and Or like anything like that. But it's mm -hmm. like, so it's another way that I want to grow. So every year I set a goal of like growth. So it's not material, it's more like that's good though. character building. Yeah, because that's that's attainable. That's not like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna work out every day. But yeah. I, like I want, yeah, I know what it is. I'll, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Later down the road when we get a little closer to New Year's, I'll tell you what my resolution is. Anywho. All yeah. right guys, well we just wanted to say what's up to you. I wanted you to see Allie, because I know I talked about her, but I don't know for sure if you have officially met her, so. Here is her beautiful face. If you watched my vlogs on Shauna Marie B, then you've seen her a lot because she was in a lot of them. So she Basically, was in that one like the whole time. Shauna's like my sister, and I used to sing on the worship team at Heartland, and we used to hang out a lot, and she used to do my hair. Hi, loves. If I got a vlog, would you watch me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nashville Adventures. If she got a vlog, would you watch her? What's going on, loves? Came over to visit Probably. Pops and Maja. Pops is trying to make it over to, to the chair. So I wanted to show you guys how much more festive they are than we are. She saw our three foot pre-lit tree. <laughs> and there's their big tree you've seen once. And they have a nice little yeah, thing going on here in the kitchen. Nice. What's the size of our tree? The pine cone up there. Yeah, that little pine cone up there is actually the size of our tree. Pretty much. And then they've got another small tree in here. So, ball humbug to the love alls. Instead of doing an unboxing for the new camera. Sean went ahead and opened it up and got it ready. I'll show you guys this thing. It's yeah, I wanted cool. to charge it, but it's cool. I'm excited to play with it. I'm just trying to figure it out right now. But um, I'm excited to play with the picture and see how it works. It's supposed to be like a handheld DSLR. So, with those of you who don't know what that is, it's kind of like the big professional cameras, but like compact. And it's a vlogging camera. So, I'm excited to play with it. I hope I like it. I've heard good things about it. I did a lot of research before I decided I wanted it. So there you have it. Now we can both vlog and we don't have a cell phone and a camera. Yeah. Exciting. So much better. I Gail's cooking some cookies. Tonight. <laughs> and there's Bella. Chunky Bella. She floats across the floor. She doesn't even walk. There's Pops. Not doing too, too well.
Hey loves, this is my first time recording on this camera, my Sony A5100, and I, so far I like the way this uh, picture looks. It's pretty rich in color, and Benny Boy over here is being unruly. Yes you are, you're not supposed to be jumping on the counters. You know better. What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? What do you want? What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing? Okay. Let's not do that again. All right. Now let's compare the difference between the G7 and the Sony. I think the G7 is probably a brighter picture, honestly. I don't know though. Yeah, it's definitely brighter. So let's see. This is a comparison. This is the Sony A5100. And this is the Canon G7X. So I would say that the Sony A5100 is a little bit truer color because that looks like the way the picture looks is exactly how the tree looks. So I'm kind of excited about this camera. Right, Benny? And Gail's in here cooking up a storm, making some delicious lemon cookies. Mm. And look, Greg already showed you her decorations, but it looks really pretty in here. One day I'll be as festive. Maybe when we have some children. Or maybe next year, who knows? Hang out with me. She might rub off on me. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Wouldn't that be creepy if a woman could do that? Girls I can do, do that. that. <laughs> I can do it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it either. Freak me out. Is, that is there sausage somewhere? In the, be in the bean soup? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In a better catheter. With Liberator Medical's free better catheter. catheter. These new catheters are better than ever. Easier to use. The spoon is. It's like a ladle. What are you doing? I'm having myself a dicker snoodle. I think it's actually a snicker doodle, but I like to call it a dicker snoodle. A dicker snoodle? Dicker snoodle and a coffee with uh, some Baileys in there and in my dad cup and that's what Pops likes having a couple of days before Christmas. <laughs> Pops is doing good as you can see. He's feeling a lot better. He's telling Pops he needs to start his own YouTube channel. Sean went home with the bed, We're watching some basketball. Kentucky and Louisville. Kentucky and Louisville, it's a great game. About eight seconds left to see if Kentucky can come back here. We'll see if Kentucky can pull wow. us off. Missed it. Game over. Louisville wins. They were both 10 and 1. They were both yeah. 10 and 1. There's Kaylee over here. It's okay, Kaylee. It's been a good night, just hanging out and relaxing. I'm off now until January 2nd. So I'm very excited to relax. Yep. Probably grow out this beard some more. Pops has got a beard going. You should grow it out. Yep. It's my lazy beard. So yeah, we may get this coming back. I had somebody comment and tell me I looked really young. Maybe because my beard, but now maybe it'll come back. All right, loves, got back to the house. It's about, what time is it? 12.30 in the morning. Shauna went home early from Pops, Pops' house, and went to bed. She has to get up early for work, so I just got back. I uh, hung out there a little bit longer, had a good time. We were just watching TV and catching up, and Gail was baking some cookies. Not gonna lie, I sampled a few of them, especially the no-bakes. By the way, no-bake cookies are my favorite cookie ever. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you have a great rest of your week. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already. 
share with everyone, let everybody know about our channel, we appreciate it, and continue to help us to grow our family. Thank you so much.